Indians have been eating hallucinogenic or magic mushrooms in ritual and spiritual context since at least 3000 BC. But despite how long we've known about magic mushrooms, we actually barely know anything about them. More commonly referred to as psilocybin, it's the molecule that makes these mushrooms so special. There's over 200 species of these fungi that produce psilocybin, which makes them hallucinogenic. But that isn't what causes hallucinations in humans. See, the body works in wonderful ways. And after we ingest the psilocybin and we start to metabolize it, our body strips off a phosphate molecule from the psilocybin and that process produces a different molecule called psilocin. It's psilocin that actually sends people on the trip because it binds to one of the same receptors as serotonin does. Serotonin is the molecule involved in things from sleep and blood pressure to mood regulation and depression. The receptor is referred to as 2-HT2A, and this receptor is also targeted by other psychedelic drugs like LSD, MDMA, and mescaline. Scientists still don't know how or if molecules binding to the 5-HT2A receptor results in hallucina hallucinations, but they think it's related to how parts of the brain communicate with each other. The way they think psilocybin is doing this is by strengthening the connections between brain networks even for areas that were not strongly connected before taking psilocybin. In mice, for example, psilocybin may actually be creating entirely new connections. In people, psilocybin increases the strength of the connections responsible for the way you sense the world, while also decreasing the connections responsible for how we understand, understand signals from our environment. Some scientists think this mix and match on how we sense and understand signals from our surroundings is what may cause an altered state of consciousness. One of the side effects of magic mushrooms. Right now, this research is about connectivity and it's still fuzzy and sometimes conflicting, in large part because research into the effects of psilocybin is so new. Policy changes in the last 20 year to 15 years have allowed for researchers to start studying not just the basic effects of psilocybin, but some of the possible therapeutic benefits. These studies often include giving one or two moderate high doses of psilocybin in the presence of at least one trained psychiatrist or trained healthcare professional. The idea is for the person to have a good trip where the lines between themselves and the world around them break down. 